Hey everyone, today we are going to learn the program to show use of different operators. So there are number of operators in C sharp like any other programming language. But in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the arithmetic operators. As you all know, the arithmetic operators are plus, minus, multiplication, division and reminder. So we are going to write down the example of all the arithmetic operators. So first of all we have to declare the variables like integer a and integer b. So we have to perform the operations on both these variables and then I take the variable c for addition, d for subtraction, e for multiplication, f for division and g for reminder. You can also take different names of variables. Now we have to input the values of a and b at runtime. So write down console dot write line in bracket double quotation enter the value of a then read the value of a for that write down a equal to convert dot to integer 32 in bracket console dot read line Okay, so why we use here convert dot to integer 32? Because console dot read line accept the value in a string format. And here we require the value in a number format in integer format. That's why we have to convert the string value into integer form. So we take here convert dot to integer 32 and in bracket console dot read line. Now do the same for variable b. So again write down console dot write line in bracket enter the value of b and then read the value of b that is b equal to again convert dot to integer 32 in bracket console dot read line now we have both the inputs a and b now let's perform the arithmetic operation so first arithmetic operation is addition so write down C equal to a plus b then the second one is subtraction so write down d equal to a minus b then the multiplication so e equal to a multiply by b then the division f equal to a divided by b and then modulus g equal to a modulus b okay so here we perform the arithmetic operations we add two numbers and then store it in a variable c. We subtract two numbers and then store it in variable d. Again we multiply a and b and store the value in variable e and likewise. Now we have to print the values of these variables that is c, d, e, f and g. So again write down the statement as console.writeline. So console.writeline is used to print the statements or print the value at the output at the console window. So write down console.writeline in bracket double quotation addition is and then in curly bracket 0 double quotation complete comma c. So we have stored our addition in variable c. Now what is the use of in curly bracket 0 opening curly bracket 0 and then closing curly bracket. So this is a placeholder or a argument means the value of c is stored in this location so it acts as a placeholder or an argument. Now display the value of all other variables like console dot write line in bracket subtraction is again in curly bracket 0 double quotation complete comma d. Do the same for variable e, f and g. Okay, now at the end write down console dot read line. So console.readline or console.read key is used to hold the console window, the output window. Okay, now let's run the program. Just click on the start button or press F5 shortcut key. 
enter the value of a here i enter the value of a as 25 enter the value of b for example 3 enter okay let's see addition is 28 subtraction is 22 multiplication is 75 division is 8 and remainder is 1 so this is a simple program of operators arithmetic operators in c sharp.net